countries in Latin America in talent for crypto. Probably the majority of the work in crypto is that kind of kind of transfer from oil and gas and then building modular building blocks for people to build on. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining the Behind the Company Lines podcast. So what we decided to do is roll out a service where anyone that gets COVID can go online across 42 states and they can take a picture of their COVID test, fill out an online health assessment, and within one hour, a health practitioner will treat them. And if they qualify, they'll send the antiviral medication to the pharmacy of the patient's choosing. And we do that for $15, which is less than the average copay for almost every American. And if someone can't afford $15, we actually treat them for free making it the first telehealth service in the country that I'm aware of that treats everyone, regardless of their ability to pay. Procurement is the acquisition of goods and services that a company uses to run their operations. So, for example, every company buys things to run the, the companies. Once you have a, a vendor selected, you have to get a contract in place. You have to manage that provider. You have to manage the services and the risks and so on. And that's really the remit of procurement to make sure that you are buying the goods and services your company need at an affordable price, but also while managing and risk a delivery of the services that you I need. I just really had this like deep sea hatred of petroleum when I was younger. I now have a little bit more sympathy, but I digress. <laughs> and so my big thing was like petroleum, 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 petroleum. And I never really oh. let that go. But as things progressed, you know, when you have passion for an, an issue, you can get fascinated by the solutions to that issue and you get really involved, read about them, talk to people, and then you can start to get more and more niche and more specialized to a specific aspect of that problem. Here, you to walk in the technologies way, building the right the proof of concept, the right pilot, building the right process. We need to understand exactly what's the end goal. You need to really to understand and drill down the details and then to offer the solution that you think is best for their needs. Yeah. In the end, it's, you don't want to be a service company in the terms that you will do whatever they ask for from you, but you want to offer the best kind of solution based on your existing technology. Are the right people? And then how do you define the right people? We anchor that in brand values. So we got three brand values that, you know, these are things from an engineering background, I never really applied much weight, much time, much thought towards, you know, brand values. They feel very hand wavy, but now I find myself in this role that they're, they're incredibly useful in terms of making sure you're making the right decisions around hiring. Where one of our customers came to us and said, Hey, can you help us with these EV charger installations? And uh, we started looking at it, and it turns out that behind the installation of every single one of these new EV chargers going into a parking lot all over the country is an electrician or an engineer standing there with an out-of-date single-line diagram of this facility trying to figure out how to fit this brand new piece of equipment into a 1970s electrical system nobody kept records of, right? I was like, oh, that's what we do. So then it was like, okay, I had this kind of moment. We really started focusing specifically not just on electrical contractors, but on a subsection of those, which are EV charger installers. 